Joining me right now, Ed Butowski from Chapwood Investments, Nathan Backrock from the Financial Network Group. Gentlemen, it is good to have you on the program. Thank you for joining Thanks us. Thanks very much, Maria. Thanks. Good Ed, to see you. Ed, let me ask you a question. We've got worries over the sequestration, right. worries over a global slowdown. We're waiting on earnings. How closely should we be focused on the earnings picture as we sit here and wait for HP and AIG? Well, earnings are everything. I mean, that's what moves stock prices. Valuations, you know, are literally what everything boils down to is what are the valuations. Stocks are still, on a projected basis, based on the earnings expectations, are still cheap. Stocks are about 15% undervalued. Based on where interest rates are right now, Maria, stocks should be about 10% overvalued. So should we focus on earnings? You should always focus on earnings. That's what it's all about. All right. So are you expecting a good showing from, from earnings? How, how would you characterize the earnings period so far? Uh, I will tell you, I think it's come in pretty mild at this point. I mean, do I, where do I think the market is going to go? If we break below, and you know, can't forget that we're looking at technical analysis. If we break below 13.6, I think we're going down 10%. That's really the support level on the stock market right now. Meanwhile, we, look, we seem to have a blowout here on our hands. AIG just reporting its numbers, 20 cents a share. The expectation Expectations called for a loss of eight cents a share for the fourth right. quarter. The revenue uh, is expected at eight point seven billion dollars for the quarter. Uh, it looks like what we're looking at here uh, on the uh, certainly on the bottom line, which is the earnings growth of twenty cents versus a loss, would be a positive. We're waiting on the revenue, and the stock is trading wildly uh, as these numbers are just hitting the tape uh, as as but we talk. There's got to be some accounting stuff there. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of it when yeah. uh, when um, Bob Ben Moshe joins me momentarily, the CEO. But, but Nathan Beckrick, let me, let me turn to you on earnings and the backdrop for this uh, market. Would you commit new capital to stocks right here? I would wait until we all get really scared, which we're not yet, Maria. We haven't gotten enough uh, fear about the Fed pulling the plug yet. I think what we saw the last two days was all of a sudden people said, gee, the Fed could leave us standing here at the altar? Oh, my goodness, what should I do? And so the market went down a little. I think when we realize that the Fed is not going anywhere by a long shot, then I think you're going to see the market recover. If we continue to be driven by our fears, and there's many of them out there on Main Street versus the earnings that are still good on Wall Street, if we see a dip, I would certainly reposition into that dip. And I hate to say it, I think uh, I agree with Ed that stocks are cheap, but the perception is that we've gone as far as we're going to go until we get some new guidance. So you're, you're basically saying this market has gotten ahead of itself. Are you saying we're going to have an opportunity yes. to buy stocks at lower levels? You betcha. Absolutely. As long as we have any questions at all about central bankers, and in this case, our central banker and what Bernanke is going to do, I think you're going to see the market wobble. We get some producer price information that tells us maybe prices could go up. You get hit at the pump. You get hit with your 2% Social Security. And by the way, we should tell all of America, stop over withholding to the government. You won't worry about your tax <laughs> refund, and that will help in the short term. But that's a, a really practical situation that every owner of a business should tell their employees. But until you know, that happens, I think we have, a ch we have a chance for a pullback. You know, Nathan, you and I have been doing this a long time, and I don't remember, you know, any time in the 26 years I've been in this business where there's more discussions about what Washington is going to do to affect the stock right. market than we have right now. I mean, I think it's really remarkable that we talk about what is the Fed going to do instead of what are the corporations going to do. That's really the discussion we should be having. Yeah, you don't want to have a certified financial planner anymore. You want somebody who's got a doctorate in political science. Maybe Michael <laughs> Beschloss should be your investment advisor right now, you know? Right. That's great. All right, we'll leave it there. Gentlemen, thank no. you very much.